So a common problem that I see in a lot of hollowed models are holes or connections that shouldn't exist. And here you can see an example where we have some small holes between the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary veins, as well as there's some holes that exist between the SVC and the aorta. In reality, these holes aren't present in this patient, and we'd like to have a model that's true to the patient's anatomy, so these are things that should be fixed. And so in this video, I will show you how to fix these holes in a quick and easy way using 3Matic, which is part of the Mimics Innovation Suite. But first, let's talk about what the root causes of these holes are. And there's really two different causes for these holes or connections. First is if you over-segment in that region. If we look at the original 3D model that was calculated, you'll see that there's a, a connection between this SVC and the aorta. And if we look at our segmentation, you'll see this connection in the mask level as well. The second and less obvious thing that can cause these holes is the wrap operation. So if we go back to 3Matic, and if we look at our 3D model prior to the wrap operation, you'll see that there's no connection between this pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. But then if I turn on the wrapped model, you'll see that there is now a connection that exists between there. And that connection caused the hole that you see in the hollow model to then exist right here. Now, when I did the wrap operation, I even had the gap closing distance set to zero, but it's just the fact that those two vessels were so close that the distance between these vessels was likely smaller than the detail level that I chose. So one option to fix this would be to go back and edit our segmentation or redo the wrap operation with a smaller detail level but this can take a long time, especially if you've already done other modifications like smoothing, cutting, or labeling, as you'll have to redo all of those edits as well. And so to avoid this, we can do just a couple easy steps to get rid of these holes. The first thing that I'd like to do is use this rectangular clipping button to sort of isolate this region of the hole. And so once I've drawn a triangle around that hole, I'll go to the mark menu and do brush mark, wave brush mark. You can also hit M as a hotkey. And now I'm just gonna mark the region surrounding those holes. And when I do so, I'm gonna hold down the shift key so that it marks all the way through the screen and it'll mark both sides of this hole. And so the mark triangles will appear in orange. And so you wanna go maybe a couple triangles from the edges of these holes. And once you've marked that area, you can hit delete on your keyboard to delete those triangles. Now after deleting those triangles, we have two holes left over. So to fill in those holes, I'll go to the fix menu and choose fill hole freeform. So for our entities, I'll choose these outer contours of the holes. Hit apply. And it'll fill in those holes for you. Now, if we hit this make all visible button, the rest of our model will appear and we'll now have a, hole, a wall between there and no holes will exist. And if you want to combine these surfaces, so you don't see those black lines, you can just right click on surface list and merge all those surfaces into the set. So let's just run through that one more time on one of these other holes. Again, I like to use the rectangular clipping to isolate that region. I'll hit M on my keyboard to bring up the wave brush mark. Hold down shift and left click to mark this region. Make sure it looks good. Hit delete on my keyboard. And then I'll go to fill hole freeform. Select both of those bad contours. And hit apply. And you can just repeat this process for any other small holes that you have in your model. Now in some cases the holes might be very big. And when you use the fill hole freeform, it might look like the surfaces are intersecting each other. And so if this happens, you might have to use the create bridge tool in the fix menu to divide the holes into smaller ones before using the fill hole freeform. Another thing you can do in this situation is use the push pull tool under the finish menu to adjust the surfaces accordingly. So hopefully this helps and thanks for watching.